What do you do if you have a sin that you just can't get free from? Today on Made for Glory. A lot of times in conversations with people or in confession or spiritual counseling, people bring up the fact that there's certain sins that they, they keep doing, they keep feeling sorry for, they keep repenting of, but they keep falling back into it and it becomes kind of a cycle of sin. And sometimes that can bring a lot of frustration and uh, maybe even uh, anger uh, towards themselves, towards God, towards other people, uh, that they keep going back to this sin. And a, a couple of things I think maybe are helpful as we're approaching that. How do you get free from habitual sins, which is kind of the, the classic phrase for that. That first and foremost, recognize that we are not our sins, that, that as, as much as we might fall into a sin, that we are identified because of God's mercy, because of Jesus's love for us, because of his, his passion and death on the cross, we are de- identified even in the midst of our sins as God's beloved sons and daughters. But from that place, God in, is inviting us to step forward closer to, closer to him and towards others in freedom. So it's not that we need to get free from this sin that we keep struggling with, and then we can get close to God. It's that God has drawn close to us. And because of that, because of his grace and mercy and holiness at work in our life, it begins to free us from that sin. So a question that I would ask someone if they're struggling with a particular sin, a particular sin of lust maybe, uh, or of pride or of gossip, is to ask the question in prayer, what is it that I'm looking for here? Really, what, what is it that I want? Because a lot of times, the sin that we keep falling into is not something that we want to do. It's not something that we enjoy even, even something which sounds kind of strange, but there's something underneath it that I'm actually looking for. A lot of times people can fall into a sin, a habitual sin of gossip, because really there's this desire to be accepted. There's this desire for other people to find us interesting and funny and insightful. And a lot of times, like a sin, sins of lust, a lot of times they have to do with a lot more than lust, because obviously lust is a major part of it. But at its core, there's, there's this desire for intimacy or desire to be known or desire to experience love. And so that can keep leading us back towards that sin. So getting down to the roots of the sin, I think, is a really important way of, of praying, maybe um, through the help of, of a good confessor or spiritual director or a, a trusted friend who uh, who's, has a lot of insight here, being to say, what is, what is at the roots here? Because then we can ask the Lord to begin to help us at the roots, to not just deal with the symptoms, which are, are those habitual sins, but the causes, the causes of those sins. What is the lie that I'm believing about myself or God or others that kind of invites me to keep going down that path towards that sin, that place that I don't want to go? Um, so I really think that, that that is something that is helpful that we can do with prayer, with good uh, uh, regular confession and spiritual direction to begin to address those sins, not just as, as, um, as Pope Francis says, not just you know, confessing our sins like we're going to the laundromat and just getting them clean until the next time that we have to go again, but allowing us to be an encounter with Jesus where we experience Jesus loving us in those places, those sins at the root to heal us in that place so that we can experience true and lasting freedom. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this latest episode of Made for Glory. If you like these videos and you want to help partner with us to get them out to uh, more people and to make more videos, uh, please consider becoming one of our patrons on our Patreon page. You can check out the link for that below. And uh, by partnering with us, you help many more people to see these videos and you help us to continue to bring quality content to you and to many more people. Um, Also, please like, share, and subscribe uh, to these videos across all the social media platforms. And thank you so much. Have a great day.